The Red Legion, Dust Giants, and Skyburners. These are just a few of the names that we have come to know and call the Cabal Empire. We've taken a look at the Empire as a whole and their hierarchy, but have we taken a look at the one who, at least for the time being, used to lead them as a whole? Former Emperor of the Cabal Empire, Callus, who also goes by titles such as the True Emperor, the Golden King, Thick Emperor of the Space Rhinos, is all but a mystery to us. Nearly nothing is known of Callus before his revolt against the previous Cabal Empire administration, with Callus himself leading a populist revolution to eject the military aristocracy known as the Praetorate from power due to his firm belief of their deep-rooted corruption. Ironically, under his rule, the Cabal Empire itself became a symbol of hedonism. This does not, however, mean that the Emperor himself became greedy or a tyrant, with one of his first acts as Emperor being the redistribution of Praetorate wealth to the people, and granting citizenship to the Imperial Legions. Unlike previous ruling parties of the Empire, Callus does not outright conquer, but instead makes a very attractive offer for alien races to join the Empire. He would not only offer material wealth beyond imagination, but also advanced Cabal technology and, once proven worthy, citizenship into the Empire. This was shown in two past occurrences, starting with the Scions, a race of beings strong with psychic abilities. Though labeled as slaves for the Empire's various legions, the Scions have earned themselves the right to be seen as second-class citizens, serving the Empire as not just utility personnel, but have also served in the Imperial legions. The next was the assimilation of the Clips, which was known as a technologically peaceful race. After undergoing two cataclysmic events that have all but decimated their planets, the Clips made their way to their planetary moon, Kaga Clips. Described as being in perpetual war with a hostile alien life, Callus absorbed the Clips into the Empire and, understanding their current culture adapting to only no war, Callus provided aid in the form of Cabal culture and luxuries in order to enrich their ravaged society. However, they did not appreciate it. During his time as Emperor, Callus grew fond of the Colosseum, specifically an albino gladiator that went by the name of Gaul. Taking him in, Gaul was made Primus of the Red Legion, a legion that was set to consist of the Empire's most fearsome warriors. Despite knowing of Gaul's association with the Consul, Callus would prove foolish to not take precautions, as it was this association that gave the Consul, who is a Praetorate, the time he needed to conspire with Gaul to overthrow Callus. Unbeknownst to Callus, this planned coup does not consist of direct oppositions. Rather, it consisted of several of Callus's closest friends and confidants. Led by the consul himself, the coup also includes then Primus Gaul, Lictor Sheyotet, Callus's bodyguard, Molly Imali, the celebrant, evocative General Umun Arath. Iskal of Fantor, one of Callus's closest confidant, freeborn Odzot, a Scion Flayer who opposed Callus's intentions of freeing the Scions, and Princess Imperial, Cadel, Callus's own daughter. In the dead of night and under the cover of darkness, Gaul carried out his coup, but rather than executing his former father figure, he would seal Callus into the Leviathan to be sent into deep space. He wasn't sent alone, 
as those who would remain a supporter or loyalist would be exiled with him into deep space. While sealed, Callus had no control over the Leviathan and was sent adrift for an unspecified amount of time. With no control as to his bearings or direction, Callus fell into a state of unconsciousness, only to awaken when the ship's navigation systems failed, reaching the edges of space. Looking out into the emptiness of space, this was the moment Callus referred to as when the void stared back at him. Thinking himself as the herald of darkness and regaining control over the Leviathan, Callus stepped forth with a new purpose, to herald the coming darkness upon all life, especially those touched by the light. With his newfound meaning in life, Callus would begin to explore the cosmos, coming across all forms of worlds and oddities, both young and ancient alike, and when he would encounter powerful warriors, he would recruit them as his shadows. He would utilize his shadows to try and assassinate Gaul, but all would fail. Callus has, on multiple occasions, shown himself to be a character of intrigue, not hesitant to dive into hedonistic indulgences, yet does not hesitate to share his riches or even set several species free. Besides materialistic values, he has been somewhat open in his ventures with the Guardian, but still manages to throw caution when the Vanguard or any other authority from the last city becomes involved. Despite his openness, he has shown to still be cautious of the Guardian, at least to a point, as shown with our first encounter, when taking down the so-called Emperor, who was revealed to be a mere robot, while the real Emperor hid away. Whether or not Callus proves himself an ally or an enemy remains to be seen, as he has chosen to remain neutral in all of our conflicts so far.